why you can never be friends with the narcissist. You can never be friends with the narcissist because they're never going to be your supporter. They're never going to approve of you. They're never going to encourage you. They're never going to be on your side. They're never going to be in your corner. They will never be anything to you other than your enemy or opponent. A person who is actively opposed and hostile towards you. A person who harms and weakens you. A person who competes with you and opposes you. A person who disagrees with you and resists your proposals and practices. That's all they're ever going to be to you. Because they're very envious and jealous of you. They feel discontentment and resentment. Aroused by your possessions, qualities or luck. Your achievements or perceived advantages. Because they want to have these desirable things that belong to you. And that is why they're always hating on you. They're always very negative and critical of you. They're always trying to bring you down. But why are they hating on you? Why are they so jealous? The reason why is because there's something that they lack. They're deficient in something. And you have something that they're lacking. You have something that makes you better than them. And they're aware of this because they're looking at what you're doing. They're looking at what you have. And then they're looking at themselves. They're looking at their own lives and wishing that they could have that. They're wishing that they could do what you do. So they end up disliking you. They end up feeling distaste for you. They end up turning against you. But they may not know why. They may not know why they don't like you. They don't even know you. They didn't even take the time to get to know you. They just see that you're reaching a higher level of success in your life. And it's eaten away at them. It makes them envious. Because they feel like they're being left behind. And it's not a good feeling. It doesn't feel good. They don't like how that feels. So they have to act upon it. They have to do something about it. They have to announce it to you in some sort of way. They have to display it to you at some point in time. They can only be fake for so long. Because it makes them so miserable to see you doing what you're doing. So they have to do something to interrupt it. By causing a disturbance or problem. Because they don't want to see it. They don't want to hear about it. It hurts them. So they hate on you. And they may even stalk you. Because they're envious. 
but they also secretly admire you. Because what you have is what they want. They wish they could do what you do. So they will stalk you. They will monitor you. Until they become fixated on you. Until they become obsessed. They're constantly talking and worrying about you while they're preying on your downfall and yearning to possess something that belongs to you. It doesn't really make any sense. But this is the path that they have chosen in life. And it comes from them not being able to produce what they strongly desire. From not being on their own purpose. Because they're too busy watching you. You can never be friends with a narcissist. They're always complaining about something. They're always crying and whining. Because they're very ungrateful. So they complain a lot about their problems or about things they do not like. They spoil your fun by being negative. They always have something to say. They always have to give their negative opinions because they're miserable. So they have to engage in constant criticism. They have to look for things to be wrong so that they can complain because they're unhappy and they like to share that unhappiness because they feel comfort from making you feel how they feel. So they will try to disrupt your uninterrupted movement or progress because they can see that you are happy but they can't find pleasure or contentment in anything. They can't be grateful with what they have. So they're constantly in comparison mode. They're constantly making comparisons. They're constantly considering or estimating the similarities or dissimilarities between two people or things. They're constantly looking at other people. They're looking for flaws. They're looking for something to be wrong to hide their problems and things that are going on with them. They behave very differently to happy people. People who are satisfied. People who are content. Because happy people don't worry about other people's things. They don't worry about what other people have. They don't worry about what other people are doing. Because they know how to stick with what they know and what they're good at. But narcissists are constantly comparing themselves to other people. They're constantly looking at other people's lives. Because they wish they had that. And that is why they become envious. That is why they become stalkers. That is why they become haters. Because of something that they're lacking. Because of something that they're deficient in. That's what makes them envious. That's what makes them haters. And it's why they always have something negative to say. It's why they always have an overly critical point of view. They will pretend that they want to see you doing well, but they're secretly envious of everything that you're doing. You can never be friends with the narcissist. 
when you share your accomplishments with them, they will give you a minimum amount of care or interest. Or they won't care at all. It's like everything they do is characterized by a lack of interest. They don't care about what you're doing. They have no interest in it. They don't want to learn more about it. They don't want to hear about it. It's like they don't want anything to do with it. But on the inside, it's making them very angry because they see that you're accomplishing something, but they can't do what you're doing. They can't get what you've gotten. It eats away at them. So they may just refuse to achieve a significant result, which is why you can never be friends with them. Because if you're putting in all of this work and achieving a satisfactory result, it's only going to cause them to become even more jealous. It's going to cause their envy to become more noticeable. It's fine when you're on the same level. And you're doing the same things together where you're not trying to achieve anything. And they're not trying to achieve anything. Now you have someone to talk to. You have someone you could be friends with. But it's completely different when you have found your path to purpose. Now you're being accused of doing something differently or of being different because you're advancing, you're achieving success. And they're still there. They're being left behind, which makes them feel small because you're rising to a higher level. You're achieving a higher social and financial position. You're doing all of these big things and you've got all of this stuff going on, which is when you will start to see who they really are. And you may never have thought that they would be like that. You may have thought that they would be happy for you. You may have thought that they would have supported you. But people who stick with what they know and what they're good at can support you sincerely. There's no reason for them to be envious of you because they're doing their own thing. So it's usually people who are unproductive, people who are not worthwhile or beneficial to you, people who have nothing going on in their lives, people who are not happy. Those are the type of people you need to avoid as much as possible. Those are the types of people you need to keep away from. And it's easy to identify them. Just look at their day-to-day -day lives. Look at their daily activities. Watch the type of conversations they choose to have with you. Is it something that's lacking good sense or judgment? Is it something that's unwise and stupid? Something that lacks any real purpose or meaning? That's a clear sign.
if it's not about developing or progressing, if it's not about growth, if it's not about knowledge, if it's not about personal development, that should tell you everything you need to know. If it's just a basic superficial conversation without any real meaning or purpose, it's giving you a clear sign about where this person is in their lives, about their way of thinking, about their capacity for intelligent thought. And this is something that you need to be aware of. You need to look at what they're doing in their day-to-day -day lives. Because maybe they're lazy. Maybe they're unwilling to put in the work to achieve the things that they want. But they choose to hate on you and pull you apart. They dismiss you as unimportant. They're very harmful and unpleasant to be around because they can't control their own envy and jealousy. They're just driving themselves insane. So you cannot exist in harmony with them. It shouldn't be someone that you want around you. Because miserable people are always up to no good. They're always focused on things that are just as useless and valueless as they are. Which is why there's never any growth or development. So if you're friends with someone like that, they're always going to feel like they're being left behind. They're only going to be looking for ways to betray you or abandon you, to invalidate you and make you feel small. They're not going to be an asset to you. They're never going to be anything useful or valuable. Their presence and behavior will only put you at a disadvantage. It will only create an unfavorable circumstance and condition that reduces your effectiveness and chances of success. It will only make your life worse. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coach.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.